A new warning sign just flashed in the bond market. Why the front end of inverted yield curve shows the Fed has lost control. We only have one month left before the crash. TD Bank became the most shorted bank in the world in early April. And the shorts have up their short bets. 45% to $6.1 billion in just two weeks. A crisis is arriving soon. Bulls are telling you, don't worry about a recession. It could actually solve three problems for the stock price. High inflation, Fed's rate hike, and low productivity in the labor market. So the bulls are expecting a higher stock price for the recession? What a joke. <laughs> That's total BS coming from the bulls, of course. Banks are freaking out. CEOs are frightened. Buffett, 92 years old. He is worried about a crisis. Mainstream media will not catch this. Why a crisis bigger than the Fed is about to happen in 30 days. I will explain it all right after this. How you like that? Welcome back everyone to the Audacious Money Witch channel where we talk about macro economy, stocks, bonds, and commodity markets. If you like any of these topics, you are intelligent. That's why you're here and you know what to do and push my button if you like what you see in today's video because I can't push it from this side. This video is brought to you by my Patreon. If you're a good boy, go to patreon.com slash magicalgoddesscheryl to add more meaning into your life. If you play your cards right and completely submit, like my good boys do, then I will take you under my wing. Author of best-selling books, Goddess Cheryl. My good boys always get rewarded handsomely. You are such a good boy. You like hearing that, don't you? Hmm. You want to get into the bookstore. You want it to be real. You want it to be true. You want to be my client, don't you? And here's my client Teddy Easy's book, Wicked Pussy Perfume. It is a femdom novel and it's about money, the stock market, and stockings. Such an incredible author. So big shout out for Teddy Easy and his Wicked Pussy Perfume book. Order your copy today. Here is my client's collaboration book, Adversity Equals Success. It's already yours. Such an amazing book with such incredible authors. Order your copy today. One month T-bill yield just crashed recently. It collapsed underneath the 200 day moving average. It was just at 5% a couple weeks ago. Why is this so important? I am going to do my best to try to explain this to you. This is a T-bill. It's like a banknote, but it pays interest or dividend in its annual yield. We can buy them at Treasury Direct or through your brokerage account. And your bank buys them and they are hotter than Chat GDP's younger sister right now. So the yield is dropping. It claps 36% from 5% yield to 3% yield. That's a huge difference. You want to know why? For someone that has a million dollar in their retirement account, 3% will only get you $30,000 a year. 5% will get you $50,000 a year. That's $20,000 missing all of a sudden. This means the value of the instrument or the one month treasury bill is going higher. People want it. Okay, just think of it as TLT. So if most of the people really want it, bond price pushed up to 169. Then the yield drops down to 1%. But no one wants it. That bond price will be bidless, so the price drops down. So when TLT was at $96 a share, I was buying it because the yield was at 4%. The longer duration of the bond, the more the bond price move can change. So the more risky it is. Yes, interest rate or inflation risk is a huge risk for bond. 
As for one month tea bills, it matures after just one month. It means you will get all of your cash back at the end of that month. This is the closest thing to cash, which is liquidity. So there is such a demand for liquidity that its yield claps 36% in just two weeks. I told you there's going to be a crisis and you'll be able to spot this crisis in the bond market. This is the biggest thing in the entire world. This is bigger than the stock market. Now the Fed has completely lost control because they are the ones that are supposed to control the front end of the yield curve. They are like, okay, banks, if you give us their money, people's deposits that they put into your bank, we will give you 5% plus collateral, which is bank reserve as collateral. This is called reverse repo, okay? There are $2.2 trillion in this right now. Every night your bank takes your money, gives it to the Fed at a 5% annual rate plus collateral. Here is what's frightening. Banks are now saying, we don't trust you, Federal Reserve. We are not going to give you those funds. We are just going to take that 2% loss and buy that one month T-bill at 3%. If you are new to my channel, you are probably lost. So I work all those hours at my job and they deposit my checks into my bank and it's not there? What? Where is it? You're putting it in, but where did it go? They don't have it? You think they have it. You see the balance there, but nope, it's not. It's just digits on the screen. The Fed can make it go up digitally on their balance sheet. They can make it go up. They can make it go down. But your bank has to do something with it. Wait. They don't just leave it in my account. No, sweetie, they don't. No, poof, it's like magic. It's gone. They can buy mortgage-backed securities. They can buy treasury bills or bonds, right? And they can shoot it to the Fed and get 5% plus collateral. But they are not doing it. Why is that? That is the point. Speaking of why, why you never get any of this from mainstream media, CNBC will not tell you the ins and outs of how the system works and relation between stock and bond markets, the backdoor mechanism of macroeconomy. So the point is the Fed has completely lost control of the front end of the yield curve which is the Fed funds rate is supposed to in control of. So why is one month T-bill so in demand? Why not three month T-bills? Three month T-bill still gives you 4.99%. This is it, isn't it? Something is about to happen in one month and the banks know it. That's why they don't want to lock that money for three months straight. 10-year note is only yielding for 3.5% a year, way less than a three months. That shows you the system is already upside down. It's about to snap in 30 days because we are going to have a liquidity crisis plus a solvency crisis. Let's go over to VIX. I hope you buckle up for this one. The VIX is at the all-time lows right now. I will mark it so you can see it clearly. You haven't seen this low for the VIX since December of 2021. Do you want to know where the stock market was at? Oh, I am glad you asked. It was right here. At all-time high since forever. It has never been higher than that. Low volatility means high stock market price. 
Right now, the VIX is pressed down lower than ever. It's like a ball being squeezed down to the bottom. If this is a real bull market, we should be way up there breaking the all-time high already. And this is it. This is all we can squeeze higher. What's the next move for the ball if you squeeze it down to the bottom? It's going to bounce back higher, right? Which is going to happen to the VIX. When the VIX rocket to the clouds. The bullshit that bulls are spitting out right now will be right back in their mouths. Yuck. And S&P 500 will be back down on its knees. Yes, but audacious. The market went up today. Well, you guys are so cute. I just love this. Let me show you on the S&P 500, they are putting in a rising wedge. It's a bearish pattern. That's the first red flag. Second red flag, head and shoulders pattern. You have your left shoulder, your head, and your right shoulder. This is a neckline going up. To measure their downside, you go to the top of the head to the neckline. And that's going to retest the October low from this head and shoulders. Keep in mind that this will be a re-triggering that kiss of death happened in last October. If the S&P 500 breaks the rising wedge, that would be the third red flag. Break the neckline would be the fourth flag. Now we will overlay the value line geometric index. What the hell is going on here? You will see there is a divergence to the downside right now. Price is way up there, but the momentum is way down here. This is another red flag. This is one of our favorite indices because all of its components are equally weighted. Many analysts contend that it gives a better picture of the market's overall condition than the weighted indices such as the Dow. It takes only five or six heavily weighted stocks to move the Dow higher, while the majority of its components are losing ground. The value line geometric that tracks some 1,680 stocks has a history of recording its highs of the cycle well in advance of the major averages. As previously noted, the last bear market got underway in October of 2007. Well, the AD line topped out on June 4th of that year, a good four months earlier. It has given ample warning in advance of the majority of bear markets, especially the major bear markets, such as 1929, 1973 to 1974, 1978, and 2000, 2002. In our opinion, there is a little doubt that we are in a bubble compared to the dot-com boom. If history is any guide, it is going to end very badly. When Warren Buffett at 92 comes out and says he worries about another crisis, when Warren is worrying, we have to worry. It must be serious. Are you going to just ignore that? The truth is it doesn't have to end badly for you because you're here. We tell you market is going to crash in 30 days. So you can be prepared for that. You are such a good boy for watching my video right till the end. Bye.
push that red button, you know you want to. You know you want to. I dare you. Push it. <laughs>